the feast of the archangels. Who are the three archangels? The three archangels whom the church honors by name are Saint Michael, Saint Gabriel, and Saint Raphael. They are also the only three angels who are mentioned by name in sacred scripture or Bible. The feast of all three archangels is September 29. In the traditional calendar, this was St. Michael's feast day, with St. Gabriel's being March 24th, the day prior to the Annunciation, and St. Raphael's being October 24th. What is the difference between an angel and an archangel? Unlike human beings who share a common nature, St. Thomas Aquinas teaches that as pure spirits, each angel has a unique nature. Their degree of likeness to God and His Divine Spirit distinguishes them rather than the material differences which permits us to identify individual human beings. Nonetheless, they can still be classed into groups, called choirs, according to their spiritual similarity to each other and the missions which God has given them. Closest to God are the spirits of the highest choirs, the seraphim, cherubim, and thrones, closest to mankind, and the most like us in spirit, are the lower choirs. Among these are the archangels and angels who serve as greater and lesser messengers. In Greek, Agilus, to human beings from God. We have the names of three of the seven arch messengers, Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel, in sacred scripture. Saint Raphael identifies himself as one of seven who stand before the throne of God, in Tobit chapter 12 verse 15. The names of the other four archangels are not given to us to know, and the church forbids us to call a pan by name, any but the three whose names scriptures has revealed. The first one is Saint Michael. What does Michael mean in Hebrews? Speaking of Saint Michael, Pope Saint John Paul II said, His name is a synthesis that expresses the essential attitude of the good spirits. Mecca El, in fact, means, Who is like God? In this name, therefore, we find expressed the salvific choice thanks to which the angels see the face of the Father, who is in heaven. Why is Michael the Archangel a saint? Saint indicates that one is holy, whether a human or an angel. The term is used in many ways. Saint Paul speaks in the letters of the just as saints. The church speaks of canonized saints, those whose heroic virtue has been demonstrated and whose presence with God has been confirmed by their miraculous intercessions. As Saint Michael is one of the holy angels, he is a saint in both the general sense of the just and in the specific sense of being recognized by the Church as eternally with God. This is also true of Saint Gabriel and Saint Raphael. 
What does St. Michael protect? Anyone can ask for St. Michael's protection, but he particularly defends against evil. What does the Bible say about St. Michael? St. Michael is mentioned several times in the Bible. He is first mentioned in the book of Daniel, where he is called one of the chief prince. In the book of Jude, he is specifically called an archangel. What is St. Michael the patron saint of? He is the patron saint of grocers, soldiers, doctors, mariners, first respondents, and, and police. More importantly, he is the guardian of the church as he was shown to be of Israel in the Old Testament. Daniel chapter 10 Number 2 Saint Gabriel Saint Gabriel is often shown with lilies symbolizing purity. What does the Bible say about Saint Gabriel? The book of Daniel mentions two archangels, Michael and Gabriel. In this Old Testament book, Saint Gabriel interprets Daniel's visions. However, Saint Gabriel is best known for his role in the New Testament. Zechariah, a Jewish priest, and his wife, Elizabeth, had been unable to have children, and Elizabeth was well beyond childbearing years. Saint Gabriel approached Zechariah while the priest was burning incense in the temple. The angel said, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, for your prayer is heard, and your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall call his name John. Luke chapter 1, verse 13. However, Zechariah doubted his words. In response, the archangel said, I am Gabriel, who stand in the presence of God, and I was sent to speak to you and to bring you this good news. And behold, you will be silent and unable to speak until the day that these things come to pass, because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their time. This child was also born to Zechariah and Elizabeth was St. John the Baptist. St. Gabriel also appeared to Mary at the Annunciation. What does Gabriel mean in Hebrew? St. John Paul II, St. Gabriel's name means, My power is God, or power of God, as if to say that the culmination of creation the Incarnation is the supreme sign of the Omnipotent Father. What is Saint Gabriel the patron saint of? Saint Gabriel is the patron saint of telecommunication workers, radio broadcasters, postal workers, and messengers. Number 3, Saint Raphael what does Raphael mean in Hebrew? Saint John Paul II, finally the third archangel, is called Raphael. Raphael means God heals. He is made known to us by the story of Tobias in the Old Testament. Which is so significant for what it says about entrusting to the angels, the little children of God who are always in need of custody, care, and protection. What is Saint Raphael the patron saint of? He is the patron saint of travelers, blind people, nurses, pharmacists, physicians, and people who are ill. Where is Saint Raphael mentioned in the Bible? In the book of Tobit, one of the 
the heterocanonical books of the Bible. Saint Raphael travels with a man named Tobias, with the archangel presenting himself as Tobias' relative. Saint Raphael eventually helps Tobias in two ways. First, he releases a young woman, Sarah, from spiritual bandage. She was married seven times, and a demon killed its husband on their wedding night. Tobias eventually marries Sarah with Saint Raphael's help. Also, Saint Raphael's help restored the sight of Tobias' father, Tobit, who had become blind. What is the story of Saint Raphael and the fish? In the book of Tobit, we are told that as Tobias and Saint Raphael were traveling together, Tobias went to wash in the Tigris River. A fish tried to attack him, but Saint Raphael told him to catch the fish and remove the heart, liver, and call. He then used them to deliver Sarah from the demon and to beat from his blindness. Brother Azarias, of what use is the liver and heart and gall of the fish? Raphael replied, As for the heart and the liver, if a demon or evil spirit gives trouble to anyone, you make a smoke from this before the man or woman, and that person will never be troubled again and as for the gall anoint with it a man who has white films in his eyes and he will be cured to be chapter 6 verses 6 to 8 it was of course by divine power that their spiritual and material healing was accomplished however the archangel in his human disguise used material means as signs, just as Christ used his spit and dirt, and the church uses matter in the sacrament as visible signs of spiritual realities. The fish symbol is a sign of Saint Raphael's role in spiritual and material healing. Thank you and may God bless you all.